This video is going to demonstrate to you how to access the EBSCOhost via the HHS Media Center. Um, the first thing that you need to do is go to the Heritage High School homepage. So in your Google browser, look for the Heritage High School website. Once you get there, you're going to go to Academics, scroll down to Library. Once you get to the Library page, you're then going to scroll down to about the middle of the page. You're going to click on this first link here. This is the official resource page for the library, so you're going to scroll down and click on Resources. Next, you're going to scroll down this page until you find the orange header that says Research and Citation. And we're going to be using the Find at Virginia site to access EBSCOhost. So click on that. Once you get to the Find at Virginia landing page, you're going to click on Explora High School 9 through 12. And once you get to this page up at the top right hand side, you're going to click on Sign In. If you get any type of message that asks you if you want to allow cookies, just hit Yes. We're going to sign in with Google. And now we're at the EBSCO host landing page. This is a database that houses tens of thousands of magazine articles. And you can look for those articles by using the search browser up at the top. You also can use an advanced search criteria if you click here just really quickly to show you the difference. So I'm going to click back. So again, this is the main page to access EBCOhost, but we do want to use the advanced search criteria to look for a topic related to your assigned search. So I'm going to click back on advanced search here. And on this page, you'll see that we have various search bars that we can use to look for information. Before we actually start looking for anything, what you want to do is make sure that you have a couple sections marked here on this page. The first thing is you want to make sure that you have full text selected because when you look for a resource that you want to use for your research project, you want to be able to access the full text because you have to write a two to sentence summary for that. Um, there are lots of other qualifiers and modifiers on this page. They're not necessarily specific right now to um, the tasks that you're going to be using, but it might benefit you at some point in time to go back through and take a look at this. So let's start by doing a general search for a topic. The topic that um, we're going to do this search for is the play Hairspray. So if I go to my top search browser and type in the word Hairspray, and I hit enter or search, I'm going to come up with all kinds of hits for hairspray. Now, notice that here this talks about the motion picture. I don't want an article about the motion picture. I want an article about the play. Notice here, and when we read this title, it says, John Waters, the sick man of cinema, cleans up his act, sort of, and splashes into the mainstream with hairspray. Um, as we look down here just on some key information, it says film criticism. So my guess is this is not about the play either. So if we want to narrow down our search so that we're only pulling up articles that deal with the play, I can actually narrow that down up here. So I'm going to look for hairspray, but I also want to look for play. And I don't want to look for movie or motion picture. So that's called a Boolean search. When you actually narrow down search topics by using conjunctions, most of the time a fanboy conjunction, and or nut, and or nor but or yet so. So I'm going to hit search now. Notice that um, I previously had almost 1300 hits. Now I come up with only 192 hits. All of them should have a full text, either PDF or HTML link. As I scroll down, it looks like I've actually found things that I need because see here it says theater. Um, this says drama. So doing the Boolean search has helped me tremendously narrow down my topic. Now I'm just going to click on this first one. 
before we can actually confirm that we can use this for our research project, we have to skim it and make sure it includes information that's going to be relevant to our research topic, what we were assigned. So as I scroll through this, I notice that here on this side of the screen is the information that it found for um, hairspray. But you know what, that just looks like kind of an advertisement, not a very lengthy article. So I don't really want to use that one for my research project. I mean, it actually looks like it's kind of on, you know, a magazine page. So I'm going to go back and I'm looking for more of an article type thing. So I'm going to click on this one. When I scroll down, it's a little bit different format. Now, this particular source looks like it's just talking about various places where the play is going to be put on. That really doesn't provide me any key information for the play, so I'm not going to use that source either. So this is what we call narrowing down your search. Um, I want to make sure that I have a source that's going to provide me some information and that actually fits the parameters for my assignment. I'm going to click on this one. As I scroll through, this looks like it is an article for the play, but it's mostly pictures. Um, but it has some good content, so I might actually choose this one if I were doing some reading or research about the play. Now, what you have to do for your assignment is you actually have to make sure that you find something with the full text but you also have to provide me a citation for your source. The good thing about EBSCOhost is it inside EBSCOhost it provides you access to citations and remember a citation is a way that you identify where you got your information from. So over on the right hand side if you scroll through these links you have all kinds of choices. This little page here says cite so I'm going to click on that and I want to use MLA for my citation so I'm going to scroll down and I could copy and paste this beginning with the author's name and then the rest of this info and then turn it in for my assignment. The information that is on the citation is the author's name, the title of the article, the newspaper or excuse me the um, source where it appears so this article actually appeared in the interior design magazine volume 73 number 9 in September 2002 on page 186 and I got it from EBSCOhost so all this information is what I need I can copy that information and then use that to actually create a works cited page for my sources if you have any questions get with your teacher